A new study shows that 2018 was the worst year for knife crime in the United Kingdom since statistics being, uh, began being recorded in 1946. There were 285 fatal stabbings. That's a huge number. That's outside of the United States. That's a huge number. And now, of course, uh, uh, the British Parliament, particularly Theresa May, is considering a knife ban and considering other measures to try to deal with this ep ep epidemic of knife attacks. Well, one of the things that they're looking into is uh, youth outreach programs to try to deal with youth gangs and try to diffuse tensions on the streets. Other people have taken to social media and blamed the British government for reducing funding to police services. As, as though somehow if you have less police people, if you have more police people won't want to stab each other. I mean, it's a symptom of the same irrational way of thinking that's used against guns in many countries around the world. That if you simply take away guns, people won't kill each other. Well... You no, know, here you go. I mean, this always comes down to that idea that somehow this, these inanimate objects are responsible for the behaviors of people. I mean, not that youth alienation is astronomically high. It's not that alienation of many uh, uh, immigrants is incredibly high. These people are marginalized from society. Well, look at look at young people today, and. Well, let's just say a lot of them are not very optimistic about the future and with really, really good reason to think so because the situation is pretty bad. And not to mention the fact that the worst is yet to come. That great crash, the, the terrible crisis isn't even here yet. It's not even here. And a lot of young people feel that there's nothing for them. Like, if, even if they go to school, even if they go and get a degree, they're still going to be stuck with some minimum wage job, barely survive, get screwed by their landlord, get screwed by their job, and get screwed by parliament. And they feel like nothing is worth it. They don't feel like they're worth anything. They have no future. They have no chance. And so this has a subconscious effect, and which is particularly easy to do to young people. And they essentially give up. They don't feel like there's a future for them, and they don't try. I mean, that's just a, a, a vague definition of youth alienation. And these knife stabbings, as the statistics do show, uh, disproportionately do involve young males inside of the UK. So we do have that alienation. We do have that very, I hate to use the term toxic masculinity, but essentially it is the idea where everything has to be solved with violence all the time. And that if somebody even just slightly insults you, this has to result in murder somehow. So it's, it's a toxic society, it's a toxic ideology we have, it's a, to, the, the toxicity of alienation, all of these things together. So that even if you take away the guns, the killings still happen. I mean, this is the same in many countries. Even China has mass stabbings. And they haven't had guns for, you know, some time. And this can manifest itself differently in different countries. But I, I, again, simply putting more police on the street isn't going to solve it. Taking away knives isn't going to solve it. I mean, this is, I mean it's, it's ridiculous to buy a dinner knife. One of those things that isn't even actually sharp. You have to be 18 years of age. I mean, I've seen signs of this. Like, you have to be 18 years of age to buy a dinner knife. But that's... As someone who lives outside of a society where someone who's a child can walk into a dollar store and buy a stainless steel dinner knife, I mean, it's just absolutely ridiculous. It's the, it's, the, it's the same thing in the end. Nobody wants to deal with why people want to hurt each other and just focus on the means that they use to do it. I mean, it's the same thing, and capitalism has no solution because it's not going to stop alienation because capitalism is the primary source of this kind of alienation. You know, this is another one of those things that just shows to us once and for all that taking the weapons away doesn't accomplish anything. It doesn't solve the problem. The problem is capitalism itself.
Thank you for watching. If you like this program, then please head over to my Patreon page and set up a monthly donation. It's your donations that keep this program running. Also, if you would like, please rate, comment, subscribe, and share in various social media.